ஹலோ ஏவியேட்டர்ஸ் வெல்கம் பேக் டு மை சேனல் ஸ்கை பிரேக்கர்ஸ் தேங்க்ஸ் ஃபார் வாட்சிங் ஏவியேஷன் ரிலேட்டட் வீடியோ ஆன் மை சேனல் ஹவு டு ப்ரிப்பேர் த ஆர்டிஆர் ஏ எக்ஸாம் இன் இந்தியா ப்ளீஸ் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் டு திஸ் சேனல் ஸோ யூ கேன் வாட்ச் மை ரெகுலர் அப்லோடிங் ஏவியேஷன் ரிலேட்டட் வீடியோ லெட் ஸ்டார்ட் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ ஐ வுட் லைக் டு எக்ஸ்பிளைன் அபவுட் சம் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் இன் ஏவியேஷன் விச் வி யூஸ் ரெகுலர் பேஸ் தட் இஸ் டெஃபினிஷன் அண்ட் கியூ கோட்ஸ் ஆன் த ஸ்க்ரீன் யூ கேன் சி I will be explaining each one. Before all this, you need to know about what is MSL and AGL. MSL full form is mean sea level, which datum or reference taking from seashore or above the sea. AGL. AGL full form is above ground level, the datum or reference taking from surface of the earth. Now we will see the some important definition first one height before that i will show you what is msl and agl this is mean sea level this one is agl now see the definitions the height the vertical distance measured from the specific datum that is called height so this is the datum is given that is above ground level above ground level whenever we measure the distance we can called as the height we'll see next definition altitude the definition is given here the vertical distance measured from the mean sea level that is called altitude so whenever we are measuring from mean sea level that we can consider as a altitude and when we are measuring from the agl that is above ground level we can called as the height next one pressure altitude or flight level before that you should know what is isa that is international standard atmosphere the standard atmosphere which is given temperature is 15 degree centigrade pressure 1013 decimal 25 hectopascal density 1225 grams per meter cube that is the standard atmospheric conditions now here you can see the pressure altitude or flight level is same the definition i given here the vertical distance measure from international standard atmospheric pressure that is the standard atmospheric pressure as i said 1013 when they are calculating the distance from 1013 decimal 25 then we can called as the pressure altitude or flight level now we'll see some important q codes this q codes we set it on altimeter while we fly first one qnh qnh aerodrome pressure reduced by mean sea level using international standard atmospheric conditions when we set it on altimeter qnh we will get altitude next one is qfe qfe is the aerodrome level pressure so when we set it on altimeter we will get height next one is qff aerodrome level pressure reduced by mean sea level using actual or existing conditions the qnh and qff almost similar the qnh is a isa condition and qff is using the prevailing actual conditions next one is qne that is a international standard atmosphere subscale settings 1013 decimal 25 hectopascal remember one thing always when the aircrafts will fly they will be setting qne so and the, they can maintain the separation between other aircraft here you can see bit more understandable first one is qfe when you set it your altimeter on qfe the reference will be taken from above ground level in your altimeter you will get height and next is when you set it on your altimeter qnh the reference will be taken from mean sea level so in the altimeter it will be show altitude next when you set it on your altimeter qne or that is 1013 decimal 2 hectopascal that is international standard atmosphere so you will get the 
flight level or pressure altitude. Here I bit elaborated Q codes more for the understanding and two conditions I have given here that is first one is aircraft on ground second one is aircraft on air. So when you are setting on altimeter QNH if the aircraft on the ground the aircraft altimeter will show the elevation of the airport. If the aircraft on the air it will be show altitude of the aircraft. When we set QFE when the aircraft on the ground the altimeter will show zero. If the aircraft on the air it will show the height of the aircraft. Next is when we set on altimeter QNE it will be show whether the aircraft on the ground or in the air will show pressure altitude or flight level. Here I am going to explain some more important Q codes. Before that you need to know about what is inbound, outbound and to the station, from the station, towards to the station and away from the station. You can see here I have given the example this is the station that is a view or call sign this is a pentagon shape and this aircraft is going towards to the station this aircraft is going away from the stations. So and inbound to the station this aircraft is going towards to the station we can call it as the inbound to the station which is the aircraft is going away from the other destination that is we can call it as the outbound to the station this aircraft is going out, away from the station so we can call it as the outbound to the station this is to the station this aircraft we can consider that is a from the stations okay next and uh, this is the important uh, four Q codes. So you need to know about the definitions. QDM. QDM is the aircraft magnetic heading to the station. That is this magnetic heading to the station, towards to the station. Next one is QDR. The aircraft magnetic bearing from the station. So we can consider this aircraft for the QDR. Next is QTE. The aircraft true bearing from the station. So we can again consider this aircraft for the QTE. Next is QUJ, the aircraft true track to the station. This is like we are not using nowadays, but you should know. Hope you understand about uh, basic definition and uh, all uh, Q codes. Uh, please write each and all the definitions and as well as uh, the Q codes, uh, uh, Q code explanation. So if you have any doubt or please drop me the message, I can clarify your doubt. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, do not forget to like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel for regular uploading aviation related video. Comment below if you have any query. Happy landing. Thank you.